Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to take an image and place it on top of another image uh, to make it look like it's either printed on top of that image or is connected to that image somehow. Uh, you could also do this with uh, tattoos on people or something like that. But I'm going to show you how to do it. It's a, it's a pretty simple one, but uh, <coughs> but it's something that uh, that you don't you don't necessarily know unless, uh, unless somebody shows you. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. As you can see, I already have uh, a couple of layers here, and uh, I uh, have found an image of a, a coffee mug and uh, an image of this uh, this child here, this baby. And uh, I'm, what I'm going to do is uh, take this uh, picture of this baby, and I'm going to uh, lay it over on top of the coffee mug so that it looks like the picture was printed on the coffee mug. <clears throat> uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this... Uh, this image that uh, that I pulled from from this other this other uh, layer here, and all I simply did is I I drug this out so it was a separate thing, and I drug my uh, layer over the top onto the other picture, and then I resized it by pressing Control T and uh, shrunk it down until it it uh, looked like it should fit on top of the coffee mug. Okay, so I'll just delete that layer. I already have it. Uh, <clears throat> the next thing that you're going to do is change the blending mode of that layer. And I'll just call this layer baby. But we're going to change the blending mode of that layer to multiply. And you can pretty much do this with anything that you're, you're, you want it to look like it's printed on there. Um, sometimes it's better to use a different blending mode, but you can kind of make that decision. But now, as you can see, uh, this doesn't look like it's printed on there because of the perspective of it. So uh, what you'll do is you'll put it about where you want on the mug, and right about there is probably pretty good. And you'll go up to Edit, <clears throat> down to Transform, and you'll go to Warp. And you can try some of these other ones as well, but uh, this Warp one is going to be the one that uh, works the best for this sort of thing. And what you'll do is uh, make kind of subtle adjustments to these anchors. You want to kind of make them symmetrical on either side so that it looks like it was printed on the mug. So what I'm going to do on this for this mug is I'm going to try to match kind of this edge down here and this edge up here uh, with the image. So I'm just pulling these anchors up until I think it looks pretty close to matching that edge up there and you want to Try to keep them straight up and down on the sides. Uh, holding holding shift should work. Okay, put that there. You just keep messing around with these until it looks perfect. If it's not perfect, it's not good enough. Okay. It's starting to look pretty good. Let's see if we can make it look any better down here. Okay, um, and I'm going to go ahead and just leave it like that for now. Um, see how that looks, and you can just click on this air, uh, your arrow tool up here, and it'll ask you if you want to apply the transformation. And you'll click apply, and it'll go ahead and apply that. As you can see, I could have done a little bit better, so I'm going to press Control Z, and start over. But I'm not going to waste your time too much with doing this, so I'm just going to go kind of quick this time, and hopefully it looks a little bit better. Like I said, just mess around with it until it looks like it should. Let's try that. That's looking a little bit better. Um, 
This side looks pretty good. This side looks pretty good. I think this side probably could stand coming up just a hair. So I'll go back, edit, transform, warp, and I'll just pull this side up a little bit. See if that fixes it. Now I'll go ahead and pull this side up to match it a little bit. Edit, transform, warp. Apply. And just kind of keep playing with it until, like I said, just keep going until it looks the way that you want it, pretty much. It looks like this one kind of, you can see this edge doesn't look quite right, so let's go ahead and pull this edge in a little bit down there. This side looks pretty good. And that's looking pretty good. That's about probably what it would look like on a coffee mug. Um, yeah, so I hope you uh, hope you learned a little bit here. Um, <clears throat> please uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, follow me on, on Facebook and Twitter. And uh, tell your friends. Thank you very much.